Hello everyone, this is my Land Rover Team of the Week. I really hope you like it. The two props are the Quinns props, Joe Marler and Wilco Lowe. The scrummaging was big and heavy towards the end of the match, but their tackling was outstanding throughout, especially Marler. Tom Cruise at Hooker obviously had the game of his life. He was just superb on Friday night against Bath. In the second row, Joe Launchbury is not in the team, astonishingly, because the two Bristol Bears locks are Dave Atwood and Joe Joyce were whacking people for fun at the weekend. I thought they were brilliant. Back row was very, very tough this week. Sam Simmons could have made it for that backtrack against Harry Randall, that foot race. It was an astonishing bit of athleticism. But Nathan Hughes, I thought, was better over the 80. Mark Wilson had to be in there at somewhere. He's playing seven. And Ben Earl is at six. Could have been Lua Tua. To be honest, there could have been seven or eight back rowers in there. But I've gone with Earl, Wilson and Hughes. Hope you agree. At scrum half, Harry Randall was an easy choice, to be honest. To Reese Priestland at 10 was excellent for Bath. Finished the try brilliantly early on and scored a ton of points. And you've got to wonder if Bath might have fared better had he stayed on. He's in good form. At 13, Otis Rona played really, really well. Always showed up and showed up at the stoop, sure enough. Cameron Redpath at 12, excellent for Bath, the player who performed exceptionally well. At fullback, Tom Parton. Lima Sopawanga had a really good game for Wasp. Wasp were outstanding on Friday night at the wreck. But Tom Parton showed a couple of glimpses of real pace, real brilliance for London Irish. On one wing, Adam Radwan, the bad man, for scoring that try. You know the try. And Paolo and Dogger on the other wing, obviously. You all know why. He was out of this world. Hope you like the scene, guys. See you next time.